What's up you guys, it's Ashling. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. I'm gonna be doing a video all dedicated to concealers. I'm super excited to be talking about concealers today because when was the last time I did a concealer video? Well, I checked on my channel and it's been three years. Two and a half actually to be exact, but nearly three years and I haven't spoken about concealers in a dedicated video, what was I thinking? So I have one, two, three, I five concealers on front of me, but I want to talk about six. The reason why I'm talking about six, I just don't actually have the sixth one with me. I have looked everywhere for it, explain all about it anyway. So if you guys are not already subscribed, you know what to do, click the subscribe button down below. And if you do like content like this on my channel and you want to see more, I don't know, makeup, beauty, vlogs, whatever it may be, then thumbs up this video. And let's get into my favorite concealers from the drugstore. So like I said, I have five concealers in front of me and one that I wanna talk about at the end. I'm a bit fussy when it comes to concealers, particularly under my eye area, under my under eye area, because I don't want a concealer that is too heavy, that creases on me, that looks cakey. I don't want anything like that underneath my eye. I just literally want something that conceals my under eye area, brightens up my under eye area and makes me look fresh and awake and like I've slept for a full eight hours and I just look fresh and awake. What more can I say? So the first concealer I wanna talk about is the Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. This concealer is the newest to my collection, my newest concealer, the latest concealer that I've tried. And you guys know that I love the Conceal and Define Concealer. I've talked about it and rant and raved about it for years. However, they brought out this one and I think I prefer it for a couple of different reasons. The first reason is it's a lot more full coverage. I'm wearing it today. It literally covers up everything underneath your eye, but it's not too heavy and cakey. It's kind of like a satin finish to it, which sounds really bizarre. It makes my under eye area look like velvet. So it's not really overkill when it comes to concealers. It's not too heavy. It's not too full coverage, but it gives me perfect coverage underneath my eyes. Like I love the effect of this underneath my eyes. I love the look of my under eye area when I wear this. I love how fresh and awake my under eye area is. I love how easy this is to blend. And I love the fact it does not crease. It is a thicker consistency of a concealer. I will give you that, but it is quite full coverage as you guys can see that it's super full coverage. It's long lasting and I wore this on a night out. I think I talked about this in my monthly favorites in my February hits and misses, that's what it was in, where I was on a night out and I got home and I think I'd worn my concealer for about maybe 14, 15 hours and it was still intact. My under eye area still looked great and fresh and I highly recommend this concealer. It's it's really great, I love it. Next up, I wanna talk about the ELF 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This concealer is extremely full coverage, just like the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. It reminds me of it a lot. The problem I have with this concealer is that it oxidizes a little bit. I have the shade Light Beige and I felt like I picked up the wrong shade because it was extremely light. And then when I applied it underneath my eyes, it did oxidize. So that's the only kind of major concern I have. It has a big doe foot wand, similar to the Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. And it is super full coverage. Oh my God, this is so full coverage. I love this concealer so much for so many different reasons. The fact it's super affordable, the fact that it blends really well. It's very creamy underneath the eye as well. A little bit of this goes a long way, so I wouldn't pack this on underneath the eyes. I'd apply a little bit and then blend it out. The more you apply of this, the more it will crease and just look heavy underneath the eyes. So I don't apply too much of it. A little bit is all you need. I promise you, you don't need too much. It's so full coverage and it's so silky. I can't express that enough and it's just the consistency of it's not too drying and it's not too thick and it's not too cakey. It doesn't crease on me whatsoever and I just love everything about this concealer. I can't really stress any more about this concealer because like the Infinite Conceal and Define Infinite, it's a great formula and it doesn't crease and it doesn't budge and it doesn't go crappy on me and it doesn't flake and it doesn't budge. It's a great concealer and I love it. I love both those concealers. I think they're like my top, top concealers when it comes to drugstore. Next up, I want to talk about an oldie but a goodie. This is the Pro Conceal from LA Girl. I've talked about this at length. It's kind of a concealer that doesn't really get that much talk lately or people don't, I don't know, say how great it is. It used to be all over the place. Everybody used to talk about it. Everybody and their mother was 
was loving this and expressing how great of a concealer it was. Because like the drugstore didn't have that many great concealers, this was definitely one of those that was favoured by everybody. And I still love it to this day. It's a lot more of a thinner consistency than the last two concealers that I talked about. It does come with a brush. That's my only issue with it. I don't like the brush. I don't know. I've never really liked it. But I love the consistency of it. I love the formula of it and I love how it does not crease. There is a million and one different shades in this. Well, there's probably like 30 different shades. It's the same with the Revolution Conceal and Define and the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. Tons and tons of shade selections. There's honestly something for everyone. If you suffer from dry under eye areas and you suffer from creasing, this concealer is definitely for you because it does add a little bit of moisture into the skin. It is a more of a liquidy consistency. It's not quite as full coverage as the previous two, but it does cover up dark circles. So I would say if you have a major issue with dark under eye areas, that this wouldn't be the concealer for you just because it isn't as full covered. I think it is a great concealer and I can't, I can't express how much I love it because you know, it's been on the go for years and I still have absolutely no fault with it. The next concealer I wanna talk about is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. Now, I have talked at length about how I didn't like this concealer and then I talked at length of how much I love it and I want to express that it is one of my favorite concealers ever. The reason I love this concealer is because it is a thin formula with a high coverage. Again, like these two concealers, they're a bit of a thicker consistency. This is a lot thinner, but it covers your under eye areas like nothing else. It is the most amazing formula I think I've ever tried. The shade I have is in Honey. I will say actually the other shades, I'll list them all down below, but Creamy Beige is what I use in the LA Girl. I use Light Beige, I've already mentioned that from e.l.f. And then C7 from Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite. And I use C7 in all my Revolution Conceal and Define. Honey is the most amazing color because it kind of has that slight like I mean ever so slight kind of golden undertone to it, like a salmony undertone to it. So it counteracts under eye circles, brightens my under eye area to no end. It is an absolutely gorgeous concealer. Fabulous for the price as well. I think this is only like five euro. It's one of the cheapest concealers or second cheapest concealers that I'm gonna be talking about today. Yeah, I think it's in or around the most affordable concealer. I really like the doe foot wand on it because it's so thin. I just don't feel like you need a big massive wand anymore. I just feel like with those full coverage concealers, like a little bit goes a long way. I feel like this concealer works super well, covers up under eye areas, and I can't say enough good things about this. I will say that I don't like the lighter shades. I've tried them before and they just don't work for me because obviously they're too pale for my skin tone. And this shade works remarkably well with my skin tone just because it, is the right consistency, the right color, the right shade for me. And that's why I didn't like that concealer for so long because it just it didn't match my skin tone, didn't look good. The second last concealer that I have with me is the Collection Concealer. This is the Lasting, is it Lasting Collection? Oh my God, it's rubbed off. Lasting Perfection Concealer. I will list the name of this concealer, but it's from Collection. It's their only concealer that they have. This costs about four or five euro. And it is probably one of the best concealers and longest concealers that I have worn in my collection. Like this one's all worn off. I buy this consistently. Like I mean always. I absolutely love this concealer for so many reasons. It is again quite lightweight. But it's just a little bit thicker than the con Catrice concealer. It's a little bit more of a thicker consistency. The shade that I have here is in warm medium. And I've used this longer than I've even been on YouTube. Like I think this is one of my first ever drugstore concealers. It just covers up the under eye area so well. It does not crease. It doesn't cause crappiness. And I just absolutely love the consistency of it. I love how lightweight it is underneath my eyes. It's not heavy or thick. And I love that it blends out seamlessly underneath the eyes. It does not crease on me and it doesn't go crappy. It goes with every single powder that I think I own and it just blends out so well. So it's one of the best concealers that I think on the market and for the price, you cannot beat it. And the final concealer that I wanna talk about is the Asia Wind from Maybelline. I've gone through so many of these in the years. I absolutely detest the sponge on it, but I just sometimes pull the sponge off and work with it. The only reason I don't have it here today is just because I have so many concealers to talk about that I'm trying to get through and I didn't just buy another concealer just to talk about it today, but I did run out of it, I'd say about two months ago and I just haven't repurchased it because I have 
so many concealers but I absolutely love the consistency of this I love the formula of this concealer and I love how it just is easy to blend under the eye it's really really lightweight under the eye but full coverage at the same time and again it blends out underneath my eyes and it does not crease on me that is the most important thing for all these concealers today is they don't crease on me and they're still brightening and fresh underneath my eye without thick and heavy so I always pick a concealer that is one to two shades lighter than my concealer than, than my concealer than my foundation because I just feel like it just brightens up the under eye with subtle like I used to purchase really really light concealers because I used to like it really really bright underneath my eye and now I've just I don't like that look so all the concealers that I use love to be the under eye concealers that I choose always are the best for brightening underneath my eye without too extreme and too like pale underneath the eye so I absolutely love them I love how they blend I love how full coverage they are I love how they cover my under eye area and I love everything about those under eye concealers that I've talked about today. So there are all the concealers that I absolutely love and I highly recommend to you guys. And I cannot stress enough how much I love those concealers. And like I said, it's been a hot minute since I have talked about under eye concealers to you guys. And definitely if you guys are on the lookout for a new under eye concealer, I would definitely recommend one of those six concealers. And like I said, it's been a hot minute since I've talked about them in the longest time ever. I just feel like they're just something that I forget about all the time, but they're my favorites. And I'm gonna talk about my high end as well because I do have a lot of high end that I would love. I gravitate towards the more affordable ones because they work so well, they're affordable. I mean, why would I go for something high end when they work really, really well? I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If there are any other videos that you would like me to do a breakdown like foundations or powders or eyeliners or mascaras, whatever it may be, let me know what you would like to see up and coming. And I will talk to all of you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye guys.